Hi, welcome back to EducateTooth.com. My name is Sipski, your host. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download an offline AI or off-grid AI system. You'll be amazed at the fact that you can actually have an AI in your computer system. As long as your computer is very fast, you're able to access AI technology without the internet. An AI at the palm of your hand. That is just amazing. I'll show you how to do it right now. Let's get started. All right, so to start downloading offline AI or off-grid AI, what you need to do is go to the following website, jane.ai, as you can see here. And once you do that, you should come across this web page. And I have a PC, so I will download Jane for PC. There we go. And I have a Windows 11. I'm going to download Windows. And you can see the application is now downloaded to my hard drive. Once it's done, I already have the app download already. You install it, it shouldn't take you more than five minutes. And then you have the app load up. There we go. This is what it looks like. Now you notice that um, there's that chat icon and then here is the different AI model. You need to download that. I have most of it downloaded. The one I'm going to be using today just to show you or illustrate its uh, power is Maestro Instruct 7B Q4. And the other one that I really like is this one here. Let me go down if I can find it right here. Okay, Starling Alpha 7BQ4. I really like this one. I think this is more logical AI model. So let's click on that. Okay, I think I already have it installed. There we go. Yeah, it is in uh, Starling Alpha 7BQ4 model. It's about 4 gig of data. So we're going to use that. Now you notice that right now the internet is on. I'm going to turn that off to show you that I'm actually going to do it offline. All right, so I also activate the voice type from Microsoft 11, Window 11. So this is very useful. For example, if I click and say, okay, let's click on that and how do you make cheesecake? There we go. And look at how fast. Wow, this is all offline, by the way. See that? Now, I'm not sure uh, if this is uh, ingredients and uh, the procedure to make cheesecake, but you can see it's telling me how to do that. This is all offline. Amazing, amazing. Now, I would say for AI, if you want to ask about how to do things and factual things, uh, science related, I think it's very good. But when it comes to other subjects like politics, maybe even history, this is like bias um, in certain uh, um, information. For example, if I ask, watch this, okay? Tell me about Donald Trump. Okay, so you can see the information is listing out. And uh, yeah, it's giving me his career. And then when, when it talks about the controversy and now this, this um, model, this Starling Alpha 7B model, is not too bad actually. Gives a pretty uh, neutral stance on Donald Trump. I try other ones actually, it's not very good, like Maestro and Trinity and all that. It, it has a little bit of bias using Wikipedia information. Okay, so let me try uh, Joe Biden, let me see. Tell me about Joe Biden. Okay, as you can see, there is the information there. All right. Again, you don't see any, I don't think they mention anything about controversial issue regarding his life, right? So you can see in there, there's a award and honors regarding him, and then you don't see that in Donald Trump. So like I said, there's a little bit of bias in that information. And if you try different AI, you'll see that. Do that comparison between different politicians uh, a Republican versus a Democrat. You can see there's a slight bias towards Republican, more um, nice uh, wording for the Democrats uh, politician. So be aware of that. I don't use AI for that. I use AI mainly for uh, factual things like how to make things. Uh, for example, let's see. Let me try another thing. Okay. 
how do you make sodium nitrate? There we go. You can see information comes out pretty fast, and there it is. Okay. Now nitric acid is uh, you can't just obtain that from anywhere. It's a bit constant, highly concentrated. They're saying you need an 85% concentration. You would have to buy that in um, a chemical industry. I don't think you can order online for that. That's a pretty potent concentration of nitric acid. But anyway, here it is showing you how to make sodium nitrate. Very cool, right? And it's all offline um, from this uh, starting alpha 7BQ4. Okay, so let me try another one. Um, tell me about butterfly. Okay, there we go. That was pretty fast. Again, offline. Now notice that the computer I have, let me show you the setup so you know. Uh, let me see if we can look at advanced. Notice that I'm using NVIDIA graphic card GPU to run this um, AI model. It's a 3070 Ti graphic card with 8 gig VRAM. And my computer system actually has 64 gig RAM. Let me just show you quickly. Let's see, system info. Oops. Okay, you can see that this is actually a 12th generation i7. It's a 14 core, 20 logical processor. It has 64 gig RAM and I think two terabyte of uh, SSD drive. And yeah, it's a pretty powerful computer system with the RTX 3070 Ti graphic card with 8 gig VRAM. So you can see why this is running pretty fast. Now the Jane um, software is a little bit quirky, right? It doesn't always work. If you are loading a different um, AI, like for example, let's say if I reload uh, another AI model like the Maestro Instruct 7BQ4, then once I load that up, adjust it, I have to turn it off and then turn it on again, okay? Because for some reason, I'm not sure it doesn't always work, right? So make sure when you choose a different AI model, you then uh, turn off the app and then restart it again, okay? Let me show you right now. Let's say if I want this Maestro Instruct 7B Q4, let's see if it's gonna work. I'm not sure, okay? so. Right now it's under Maestro Instruct 7BQ4. Let's see. How do you make cheesecake? Okay, notice it's loading Maestro Instruct 7BQ4. Oh, okay, so this time around it actually works pretty well. So it seems like the newer version, because I have previously tried this a uh, couple of days ago and they told me to update the uh, software and it seems to be a little bit more stable now. Okay, let's try another question here. How do you make pancake? Wow, okay, it's very fast. Look at that. This is all offline. Pretty impressive. Okay. Let's try a math question. What's the square root of seven? Wow. <laughs> 2.64580173095483. Again, all offline, very useful. So as you can see, uh, this free offline AI or off-grid AI is pretty cool uh, if you want you know, information, uh, it's all in this system. You don't have to have internet for it. And I think it's useful for certain purposes. I wouldn't rely it on 100%. You need to know a bit about your uh, field uh, to make sure that um, there's no wrong information. But I think overall, if you, you know, talking about science, uh, maybe math, anything that is more um, concrete and uh, neutral, I think AI might be good. 
but if you come to politi uh, politics and other things, um, there is a bit of a bias in it, and the reason is because it depends on who input the information. Whereas I think in science in general, when you're talking about you know how to make something or you know when you react two chemicals together and you get uh, the products, these are more factual things that you know that can be tested. Whereas the other stuff is more opinionated. All right. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a little heart of appreciation. Bye.